afternoon. They waited until late afternoon and early evening. Finally broke, but a little bit late for us to warm up today. Much warmer temperatures, though. Looking forward to that. It was overcast all day yesterday, uh, so it'll yeah. take just a little bit of sunlight. Yeah, a little bit gray yesterday, but we will see more sunshine for today. So a pretty good looking day to get out there and enjoy. Take a look out there at Storm Shield Radar, and you notice we're not tracking much here in eastern Oklahoma. Yesterday, we were talking about all that rain in western sections of the state that drifted off to the east, and some of that activity tried to make it into parts of Osage and Pawnee counties, but we didn't see a whole lot of rainfall here in eastern Oklahoma. What we did see was that cloudiness, and that kept those temperatures down as moved on through the day yesterday. Well, we are tracking some light rain up around Kansas City, northern areas of Missouri seeing that rain, but that's pushing off to the north and east of us, away from us, and we expect partly cloudy skies around for today. Our Midtown Cam looking good, Brookside Cam. As we're looking down Peoria, 58 degrees and a northwest wind currently at 3. As we move on through the day, we'll see partly cloudy skies in the lower 70s at noon. 77 in the afternoon high with that northeast wind developing at about 5 miles per hour, so very light throughout the day. Well, it looks like even warmer temperatures on the way. We'll talk about that and that rain chance by the end of the week coming up in the Storm Shield forecast. Thank you, Tab 501. Now on your Tuesday morning, we'll get you out to work in school this morning. Our first look at traffic, and as you can see, no issues to report out here this morning. Mostly green here on our traffic flows map. Uh, I-244 looking good, 44 looking good, so is the BA. Let's get you updated on some drive times this morning. We'll give you three different looks. Highway 75, Glen Pool to downtown's 13 minutes. It's going to be 15 minutes from Broken Arrow and 13 from Owasso. A dozen people are displaced this morning after a fire tore through their apartments. It happened on 11 last night near Charles Page Boulevard and 39th West Avenue. Firefighters say the flames were contained to one apartment in the building, but all four units will likely be a total loss. It's an older home, uh, it's been added on, and so that creates issues when fire is involved, when it gets into the nooks and crannies and into the attic and things of that nature. We basically got to go chase it down. Everybody made it out safely. The cause is still under investigation this morning. A man is in